Today, the Likud Young Guard held an event to begin the Knesset campaign. Here with us in the studio, Sagiva Vasulin, one of the Young Guard of the Likud Knesset candidates. Shalom. Thanks for joining us. Shalom, Elliot. You're identified with the Likud Young Guard. Can you tell us what does it actually represent? It's, uh, first of all, it represents the, uh, the new generation in the Likud. You know, we have 11 members of the Knesset that they are actually under the age of 40. It's, I think, it's the first time that you have so many uh, future members of the Knesset that actually are, are so young and they're going to represent the things that connect to the young population in Israel. Like the uh, 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 tuition, like the uh, reserve forces, and all, all the things that, 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 that me and my friends are, are living every day, all the things that connect to the young generation. You were endorsed by Moshe Feiglin and his Manhigut UD faction. What's your connection to Manhigut UD? First of all, it's not something new. My connection uh, uh, to the ideologic uh, group in the Likud, to Mani Manigut Yudit in, uh, in a specific way, is going way back to the past, since I was the uh, head of the students, the chairman of the students in Israel, since the day of, uh, of uh, Gush Katif, uh, when I was uh, actually the only young guy from the student's body that represent the struggle against the disengagement, against the, the Gerush, and uh, we knew each other back then. And since then, we cooperate inside the Likud and out of the Likud in many, many things. Let's go back to the events of last week. Your actual position on the list for Knesset was modified as a result of some of those changes. Uh, tell us a little bit about what actually happened there. Yeah, yeah, you can say that, that I moved from the 35 uh, position to the 33. I said that all all over that uh, I was uh, prefer to stay in my original place uh, uh, and that uh, everyone was staying in the, the same place. But it's important to understand that the issue of uh, Moshe Feiglin in the list is different from the issue of uh, uh, Eudia Tom and Michi Ratzon. That I think, I know that over there it was a mistake uh, between the position of the new women and the, uh, the Michi Ratzon and, and Eudia Tom. Moshe issue is a, it's totally da different uh, issue, and I think that it will be smart for him to uh, uh, to try to do something about that. Let's just say. What do you make of Netanyahu's reaction to Feiglin and his his resulting actions and reactions? I think that right now uh, the Likud need to do everything, everything that 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 uh, that we can to go together. It's not, it's not the time to fight inside. I think that uh, Moshe proved to everyone who, who he is and uh, his character, the fact that he decided not to uh, go to the court. And he said that he will stay in the 36th place and the people will choose him and not Bagatz. I think it's a very, very courage uh, uh, um, way that he chose. And I strongly believe that uh, the, the people all over Israel will give, give us our, the, the, the support and they will uh, give the Likud more than 36 uh, uh, mandates in the, in the elections. And then I think they will see really who is the real uh, winner of this election. Do you think that these actions will end up hurting the Likud? Will you end up losing votes as a result of taking two, putting Feiglin in the spotlight, do you think? I hope no. I hope no. Assuming you do make it into Knesset, what's your agenda for the upcoming Knesset? I think that first of all, like I said before, it's to bring back the values and the connection between the young generation uh, to the politicians, to the Knesset, to the, to, to the state. I think that there is a, we are in a time that most of the youngs in Israel don't have any kind of respect and uh, to, the, to, the, to the politicians and to the Knesset, to the state, and it's not, and I'm, I'm, and I'm not blaming them. I think this is something that the politician earned that, and uh, uh, we need to build this connection again. Uh, I'm going, personally, I'm going to, uh, to deal with a lot of issues that connect to the young, like I said, to the tuition, to the, uh, 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 to the reserve forces, and to, to all the things that, that, that connect to the young generation in Israel. Sagiva Sulin, thanks a lot for joining us.
good luck. Thank you very much.